to start streaming. All right, so today I'm making the tools today. Uh, all right, yeah. So this is live. So I just uh, I'm feeling better from COVID. So I actually want to explore some stuff, and it's like might as well go live while we do it. It's like might as well go live. So I seriously want to, one thing I do want to explore is the Hilti Neuron prices. And when we go live, there we go. Now I'm in the chat too. All right, so, oh, well, well, uh, I'm sorry, I'm very out of practice because I was off of work. I went to work once, that was a mistake. Uh, I should have stayed home and rested. But I'm actually feeling a lot better. Uh, still not 100%, but I'm feeling a lot better. So I actually want to take this opportunity and actually just go through the, uh, the Hilti website and uh, take a look at the prices and see on how these actually are. I haven't really explored this too much yet, so I want to explore the batteries. I want to see how much the batteries cost individually. And I want to see what the tools is. And I want to also see if they have... Uh, what's up, Luca? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm hoping that there isn't too much uh, delay between what I say on the camera and what you guys hear. And I'm hoping it... Uh, let me know if I'm too loud. I can adjust the sound. Hey, good morning, Cornerman. Welcome to the stream. Like I guess I'm feeling a lot better. It's been a rough two and a half weeks. Uh, I can't believe that I was actually hit uh, hit as hard as I did with the, when it comes to COVID. I didn't expect that. So, but uh, but yeah, it feels good to be back. Like I said, I do want to go live a lot more. And please let me get uh, uh, you have good volume. Thank you very much. Good. I was uh, tweaking that a little bit this morning. Uh, it feels good to go live. It seriously does. What's up, Daniel? Welcome to the stream, you guys. So, yeah, but like I said, I just wanted to go through the Hilti Neuron prices because I really haven't explored anything to do with tools in the past couple of weeks because if I watch tools, then I'll have the impulse and the, 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 the need to go into the garage and film, and I needed a rest, so I actually am I'm missing out on so much tool, uh, tool videos. I got to catch up. And so, I'm watching you from the, thank you very much. <clears throat> so, I'm actually, let's go, let's just go over the prices. What's up, Magno? From Brazil. I thank you very much for watching from such a far distance. And so, yeah. Well, uh, one thing, uh, the reason why I want to do this uh, live stream with these, uh, with these prices, because I actually want to do a video on Hilti's prices. Because uh, one thing that I've noticed, for the, everyone noticed for the past couple of years, since Hilti like, came to be, is Hilti doesn't really have discounts like if you make a kit. You pre if to, when it comes to Hilti, if you make a kit, you pretty much pay full price per unit that you add to the kit. Like a full price for a battery, for a tool. And I actually wanted to explore that and see on how much these tools cost. If you make a regular kit, that would cost like two hundred and fifty dollars for at like Home Depot or Lowe's. So uh, I, because I, I'm also going to do a comparison. If like let's say Ryobi, let's say if you pay full price for the Ryobi tools and batteries and the charger, you pay everything individually. How much it would actually cost? So like, but I, I b truly believe Hilti needs to change how they sell this, sell these products and they need to make a real, like a discount if you buy a kit instead of just tool only. So as, as you can see right here, like this, uh, the brand new Hilti SF6H22 hammer drill, Neuron, with two batteries and a charger, it's $446. See, now, if you take out and, like, if you go to the Hilti's website and you click on this, that this stuff is automatically added to it. So, if you want tool only, you actually have to click on the X and get rid of them. Then you see what the tool only price is, which for a tool only, that's not bad. But if you add a, 
if you add a battery to it, see it's $114 for the, and it doesn't even say what the amp hours are. See, I, I because uh, when we were over in Switzerland, uh, we did not, we like they, there were no specs on anything. There weren't any spec. The only specs that I saw was on the impact driver and it was only uh, the RPM. 3,800 RP, or it was the impacts per minute. Like, I don't know what amp hour these are. And they don't even, uh, they don't even say on the website. So I, I was, I'm hoping that they say, say it on the, uh, on the uh, battery when uh, Hilti sends this up to me. And like I said, I denied Hilti sponsorship. I'm not being paid for this at all. Uh, I actually just want to explore this stuff. Hilti is going to send me the tools that they want to send me uh, without me paying. And I have the creative freedom to say what I want about the tools. I don't have to follow a script. I don't need approval for a post. I get to just flat out do what I normally do with my videos. And I don't, I don't have to worry about any repercussions. So I have, uh, uh, I have the creative freedom to do what I want with these tools and say whatever I want. If I, I just can't, the only thing that they don't want me to do is say that this tool is absolutely garbage. And I really don't say that to uh, I really don't say that to any tools besides brushed tools. That's one thing I hate is brushed tools. Those are garbage. Like the the old Hilti impact wrench, uh, that is a garbage tool. Torque Test Channel actually did a video on it. I hate brushed tools because brushed tools don't last long on my channel. They don't. Uh, looking forward to the price comparison video. Uh, I'm, I am too. It's like, uh, it's, I, I seriously hate it that they, that they don't offer discounts. So let's, let's buy one. Let's select. Why do you add that up? Confirm and close. So with one, just one battery that goes to 293. And that is absolutely insane. Two three hundred dollars for a uh, uh, hammer drill and a single battery, two hundred ninety, and that is actually uh, their lowest battery. So so yeah, the, the, that video will be coming. That video will be coming. So let's see if you just add the charger to it. So it's forty dollars for the charger. What's the difference? That's C four, C six, hundred and fifteen volts each. Uh, 240 watts, so this one's a faster charger. This is the old charger. And one, uh, and so, yeah, like, uh, like I said, we're going to explore the website and see how this actually, see how the pricings of these are, which I think that the pricings on these are a little crazy. Tool only, it's not bad, but as soon as you make a kit, it, it gets expensive. It gets expensive. So and one thing I don't see is they have uh what i saw over in switzerland sorry Liechtenstein, linked uh they had a sf4h22 which we have the sf4 but i don't think that they're going to give america the the 4h hammer drill i think we're just going to get the 6h hammer drill i think the 4h hammer drill is for europe all right but let's back up Really quick. Oh, so like I said, guys, I'm out of practice big time. I haven't really talked too much in the past 10 days, so. Uh, it's cordless drill drivers. Let's go to impact drivers and impact wrenches. Let's start with this. Now, when it comes to the impact drivers, they only made one new one. Like I did, uh, they, they, they did not confirm that they're making any new 12 volt tools, which I'm actually disappointed about because of 12 volt tools is my favorite line of tools. And so, yeah. Uh, so tool only see 376 for a two battery and a charger kit. And by the way, that's not including a belt, uh, a belt clip, a belt clip is I think it's $6 extra. So yeah, the belt clip yeah, you pay separately for. Tool only, it's 169. Let's add a battery. Let's add this one. One battery, select, confirm and close. And let's add a charger. Let's do the, 
Let's do the standard charger. Confirm and close. 382 for this kit. So uh, you get the tool, a battery, and a charger, which is a bit crazy if you ask me. This is a bit crazy. Yeah, like tool only, it's not bad, but as soon as you add a kit to it, it, it gets crazy. So it's 169 tool only. 169 tool only. And let's do they have specs of this? 206, uh, 2,655 inch pounds of torque. Let's take a look. So there's three, three speeds. 1800 RPM, 2700 RPM, and 3600 RPM, 4250 impacts per minute. So that's not bad. I can't wait to test that out. I can't wait to test that out. I do love the ring, the the light ring that it has. That's seriously nice. That is seriously nice. All right, but I am it. One thing I'm hoping Torque Test Channel takes over is the impact wrench. I want him to test the crap out of their impact wrenches. We have two new ones. Let's see what it's 284 tool only for their low range one, which this one is 332 foot pounds of torque. Let's take the battery. See, 551 with a two battery and charger kit. You take that away it's 284 see it just gets crazy when you add when you make it into a kit the prices are skyrocket I'm hoping Hilti changes that like they, they need discounts they really do need discounts Neuron is two five four and eight amps I can't wait to test what test these tools out all right so like I said this is the new impact wrench it's 284 tool only for 332 foot pounds which that's actually expensive for the foot uh, for the amount of uh, power you have it's a nice looking tool but that price is a uh, that price is high that price is high all right let's test out the bigger one like i said i'm hoping uh ttc takes like test the crap out of these now this one's a little bit more impressive this one is 738 foot-pounds of torque, 601 with a two-battery kit and a charger. Tool only, it's 335. Uh, let's look at the specs. Yeah, this is my first time doing this, you guys, because like I said, I've been uh, uh, suffering from COVID, and I'm glad it's coming to an end. I'm not sure if you guys can tell from my voice, but... I've actually, I I'll, will be filming today. I got a few videos coming up. Uh, it's 5.3 pounds. It is two speed modes. Two speeds, 1,250 and 1,500 RPM. 738 foot-pounds. That's better. But like I said, I can't wait for Torque Test Channel to test it out. And a, one, thing, one thing that was nice to do was I got to use tools that I'd never used before. Because when I was in construction, a lot of these tools, like, didn't exist. They were special, like, and if they did exist, they were specialty tools that never saw the construction site that I, like, the type of construction site I was on. Like, I've never uh, had to use, like, hydraulic pipe press tools, never needed to use jackhammers. Uh, I rarely used angle grinders. You know, and it's like uh, like a, a cutoff saw, like like a 15 inch cutoff saw. I never even saw on a, on a job site, because by the time I'm on the job site, these tools, if they even existed back in the early 2000s, uh, they I never saw them. So like it was rare for me to see SDS hammer drills. You know, I saw the, I always saw the basic tools like miter saws, uh, impact drivers, hammer drills. Stuff like that, but like these specialty tools, I never had it. I'd never even seen like the fastening tools, like this tool that is a thousand uh, dollars tool only, uh, concrete nailer. I've never seen these on the job site. Never needed to. Never needed to. So yeah, so it was nice to use the tools that I'd never even uh, used before.
He was back when I was, like I said, back when I was in construction. It was just, uh, the, the, I'd never saw those tools there. All right, so one thing, I, I am hoping Hilti sends me up, SDS Hammer Drill. I want, I thought they had, they, I thought they had a four. But I want uh, this one. I am, because if they send me an SDS Hammer Drill, I will be introducing SDS hammer drill tests in my videos because I have plenty of concrete, plenty of concrete to do these tests, which also means I get to do vacuum tests and like uh, in in a good scale for it to be worth even filming, for it would actually mean something. So I am hoping Hilti sends me an SDS hammer drill because I want to get Dewalt, Makita, Milwaukee, um, and whoever makes a. Uh, SDS hammer drills. I want to. I want to start filming SDS hammer drill test videos. So if they send me that, SDS hammer drills will be introduced to the channel. But yeah, three. That's not a bad price. Three sixty nine. Tool. Ah, uh, tool only. You know, Milwaukee is actually a little bit more expensive, but I'm pretty sure that their uh, SDS hammer drills are uh, are bigger than this one. Let's see what happens if we add two batteries to that and then a charger so now we're looking at 756 with two batteries and a charger which like i said it could the prices skyrocket as soon as you start adding uh, batteries and chargers to it that's crazy yeah hilti needs to implement some sort of discount like if you're if you make a kit they really do. What do you guys think, though? Still has ADR and a chiseling function. Yes, the chiseling function, uh, like a uh, SDS hammer drill that has a ch chiseling function, I want to test out because I want to actually get uh uh like like start chiseling out tiles to see like which one's more efficient. So it's like there's so many test videos that I want to start implementing in my videos. As soon as I, I, I'm feeling a lot better than what I was. I had the light dose and the cove stays strong. Thank you, Corneman. Oh man, this, uh, it was a rough 10 days. All right, so when it comes to the, uh, the all right, one thing I want to talk about is uh, the, the, uh, the tool that impressed me the most was their new angle grinder. They have uh, a setting on, they, they have a sensor in the handle to where pretty much it's a switchless dead man switch. All right, so after, I do not know which one of the, like, uh, I do not know which one of these it is, but uh, in one of these new angle grinders, to turn the tool off, all you gotta do is literally let go of the tool and just hold the hold the handle and you can let go of the tool and it'll shut itself off. I personally think that was the most innovative uh, product that they made was the angle grinder. It's instead of like having to release a pad, like a hold a paddle, because traditionally, well, how they explained it, which is it's, which is true, if you have a paddle switch angle grinder the body of the angle grinder naturally gets fatter because it, it needs to support the, the force that you could put on the switch to where uh, it, it just does, it, where it has enough strength to be able to take whatever piece you give it. So like the, the not all angle grinders are fatter, but traditionally if you put a paddle switch on an angle grinder, the body gets a little bit bigger. So what they did is so uh, you, they can keep the body small. Like as you can see, there's a big uh, size comparison between these two. They implemented a sensor in the handle to where all you had to do is let go of the tool and the tool turns off. So it, it's actually very innovative. You just put, you just uh, flip the switch for it to be on. Then you just, whenever you're done, let go of the tool and it, and it turns itself off, which I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. Let's see what this is. Tool only. It is 204 tool only, which that's not bad. For an angle grinder, that's not bad. 
So yeah, like I said, I'm sorry for the quality of the of the stream, you guys. I'm getting back in the habit of uh, of uh, being in front of the camera and talking. It's just been a, it's been rough. I just a lot of tile. Yeah, like I do. I want to test the crap out of chisels. I I do. My brother-in-law actually uh, had a tile that he just couldn't smash out with a hammer. He needed uh, to chisel it out, and he was able to get it out with a chisel, I think. So, yeah, so I think that's awesome that they actually uh, created a sensor in the grinder handle to where he just, it just turns off. It's like a switchless dead man switch, which that video is coming up. Uh, let's see, we did those, we did those. I'm I'm disappointed I don't see the jack uh the jackhammer in here. Thousand dollars for that? That's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. And these are all twenty two volt tools, which is crazy. Like that's a twenty two volt tool. That's insane. All right, so let's see if you add it as a kit with the big amp hour batteries. It's uh, fifth, about $1,600. So yeah, take them away, $1,000, $1,100, which that's not bad for that tool. That, that really isn't. And happy Friday, Ronald. Happy Friday. Oh, Dave is a promotional. Promotions will greatly by the head of drill. And a free, and a free battery. Uh, I that that that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna make the video about because I'm hoping that like Hilti does something, like uh because every other company does this but Hilti. You know, like they got they got to do discounts. They got to do discounts. Like if you make a if if you make a kit, they gotta add discounts. The more you add to the kit. They like they they can make it even better deals even better than like Milwaukee or uh, Dewalt or Makita. Like the more you add to the kit, the bigger the discount should be. Which, in my opinion, that's what that's what they should do. Like th these prices are crazy. They're crazy. All right, let's take a. Look. They didn't announce like really any new bits. Let's see, yeah, see, like I said, like, there's even, uh, uh, like, you got to buy the, the hooks, in, like, the, the hooks individually, too. It's $7 for a belt clip. $7 for a belt clip. That's crazy. It's not, see, like, that's not included in the kit. You got to buy that individually. But one thing I did see is they had an adapter to where you could use neuron batteries on an older Hilti tool. Like the, they have a, uh, a torque mo module too to where like this uh, this would actually help your tool perform doing tasks. So like th they make stuff like this that I, I gotta get this stuff. I gotta get this stuff to test out. See what difference it makes between excuse me not having it. I saw I saw it earlier today where is that adapter neuron oh wrong sorry wrong keyboard neuron adapter i'm hoping it brings it up hi puppy are you my good boy i know are you tired of sitting on the couch? Come here, puppy. Come here. I know. Come here. I know. Here's my dog, Ash. You my good boy? Are you my good puppy? Good boy, puppy. Excuse you. Where's that adapter? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just looking for... Because I saw it was $75 to where you could use... The neuron battery on an older healthy tool. Damn it. I'm so sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to swear. Wrong uh, keyboard. <sighs> what 
adapter. No. There it is. I know, puppy. So it's seventy-two dollars, which I want to test this out too. I want to see on how well the Neuron batteries work on the older tools, and it, I, I, I honestly want to see if, uh, uh, if this would actually increase the tool's performance compared to the older uh, Tilty batteries. So like that video will be coming up. There's like so much stuff I gotta test. One thing I gotta do today is like stop nudging stuff. Stop nudging. I got to uh, file uh, flex warranty and Milwaukee warranty. I got to start start that stuff today. If their mission is not to go after the homeowner, yeah, but they should though. I seriously think that they should because like they're how <clears throat> uh, Hilti's main customer is big, huge companies that builds like major skyscrapers. All right, so like uh, the these companies don't really buy uh, Hilti's tools; they rent them, and they pro and with Neuron, they're gonna have stop nudging stuff, Poppy, Poppy, stop being so mad, stop being mad. You don't have to be mad. My dog nudges stuff when he's mad because I'm not paying attention to him right now. I know. All right, so so yeah, but uh, I want to test this. I want to test this out, seeing how well this performs on the older Hilti tools. I saw that today, and I got excited about that. So because that that adapter actually makes the older neuron, uh, sorry, older Hilti tools not obsolete because you could update the batteries because the uh, the the neuron system isn't a part of the tool. It's the battery itself. So maybe with that ad adapter, it'll uh, log the what the tool does, where where it's located. It might perform like it does with the neuron tool. So that that I'm glad that they made that adapter because at least you could uh, at least you could use that. So I'm excited to test that out. Uh, like I said, I, I got to do the warranty test on Flex in Milwaukee. Because I find, oh puppy, I'm busy. Don't know why that keeps turning off. I'm busy, puppy. You you could relax for a little bit longer. All right, but let's go back. And I, I like I said, I, uh, yeah, it's pretty much a security system. One thing I one thing that my uh, unfortunately in my footage uh, a lot of background noise and people uh, laughing over uh, over overwhelmed the some questions that we asked and one question that we asked we we asked some hard hardcore questions for these like they were they didn't like some of the questions that we asked one question we asked uh, Hilti is. If these companies are late on their uh, payments for these tools, with this Neuron system, does Hilti have the option to deactivate the batteries? Uh, they re they re really didn't uh, respond to that. You know, if Hilti could like just shut the battery, like uh, push a button, and the battery is useless until they turn it back on. So they, they really didn't have an answer to that. Because we also brought that into a uh, theft. Like, it, like if someone steals uh, the bat, like the battery and tool, if they could turn the tool, the battery off to make the battery useless, just like what Rigid has for their uh, for their batteries, because you could actually deactivate Rigid's batteries. Uh, so yeah, like uh, like uh, lasering tools, I never really used. Uh, I think Hilti needs to work on their uh, their lights. They need because they have like uh, I'm not a fan of these little work lights from any brand. I'm just not like uh, like the the big floor light like uh, construction lights is what I like. You know, and so they they need to. I think Hilti needs to expand a little bit on their their light system. They just have this pretty much in Neuron and the older one. 
SL6 3000 lumens. Yeah, see, so they can make they can make a more powerful light than 3000 lumens. Uh, let's see what that is tool only. That is 179 tool only, which that's standard. That's a standard price because uh, uh, Dewalt and Milwaukee and Makita lights are actually so depending on the light, they are the more expensive. Let's go to products. Uh, corded. Let's see what what they have. Oh, they might have. I want to see the jackhammer specs. They might have the jackhammer in here. They do not. What is three thousand dollars for their corded one? Oh man. All right, they don't have that. What, Poppy? I know. I know. You're fine. I really wish that they had the jackhammer. I just want to see what the specs are on that. Cordless bundle. No, no, no. Oh, man. Went through that. Let's look at this one more time. And my favorite tool that ever made, which I wish I had this when I was in construction, because this would help me out in a, in a lot, many situations, is the SF2A12. I wish I had this back in the early 2000s. This would have majorly helped me out a lot in a lot of situations. But it's out now. See, like a 233 tool only this is $89 which that's actually cheaper than uh Milwaukee and DeWalt DeWalt's is a hundred bucks but that's as but that that is as a kit so yeah so eight, 89 bucks my favorite my favorite tool ever made this thing is awesome I love this thing I love this thing it's my go-to it's powerful enough to do what I got to do because I'm not in construction anymore. You know, I, now I'm just a DIY or homeowner. Oh, fun stuff. Demolition hammers. Oh, I wish I had the, I wish they had those. I don't, let's see if I could find that. Oh, wrong, wrong laptop. Wait. I'm just making sure I didn't mess up. I'm playing, right? Because I keep going to the other laptop and I pause in the... Let's see if they have the jackhammer on here. No, no, no. Oh, they don't. They don't have it. If they have that one. The Hilti cases are nice. They're actually nice. I actually was uh, inspecting... Uh, quite a few of them. They're actually very nice cases. Unfortunately, like uh, uh, most of them are designated to a certain tool. Like you can't like you, you could customize it, but it you got to go out of your way to do that. But overall, it's a nice case. Uh, but yeah, fun stuff. All right, but like I said, a lot lots of uh, lots of these videos coming up. Let's just go to here. I got lots of videos coming up. Let's check out some. One thing, one thing I haven't done is comments in a while. Let's look over some comments. Yeah, like I said, I'm so behind on so many things. I got to catch up on 
uh, other YouTubers videos. I got to catch up on my videos. I got to catch up on comments. The COVID set me back so far. I thank you guys. I thank everyone for uh, uh, supporting me on, on this, for being patient. See, I got so many comments to answer. Uh, dude, you have no reason to apologize. Stop drinking coffee. Yeah, which, good luck with that. All right, but what I'm going to film today is I'm going to film uh, uh, my, because the new Ryobi, actually, let's go to the Home Depot website. Uh, sorry, wrong laptop again. Yeah, make sure that I'm not pausing stuff. That's live. Real B Link. I'm a huge fan of this new Real B Link portable storage units. I love these things. And I'm seriously hoping, uh, I'm seriously hoping that Ryobi makes more of these units just like the Packout did. Now, because if Ryobi does do that, I'm going to majorly switch my Milwaukee Packout to the Ryobi Link. Because I am a, I love these. They're durable enough. Are, are they as strong as Milwaukee Packout? I don't know. I don't think so. But they're durable enough to do what most people need to do. If I, I'm 216 pounds. If I could stand on them, uh, they are and stomp on them and jump on them, they'll be fine with what you got to do. And these, these are made in the USA, so I'm a huge fan of these. I'm, uh, I'm actually very excited about uh, the future for the Ryobi Lynx. But I'm making a video because I'm actually going to swap out my emergency roadside assistance kit to uh, from a pack out to Ryobi Lynx. So that is what I'm, I will be. What's up, Howie? Welcome to the stream, you guys. I'm sorry if I, uh, but yeah, uh, strong impact driver. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if an impact driver is, we'll see how powerful it is. But remember, the fastest, most powerful tool isn't always the best. You know, like, because most of the time you won't need the power that, let's say the Milwaukee impact driver, you don't need that power. It, it'll do a screw a few seconds faster but that's pretty much it. You know, like you, like you don't use impact drivers the way I test these out. Because realistically, to drive in a half inch lags, you'll be using an impact wrench because you'll destroy uh, those uh, uh, socket adapters left and right, and it won't be cost efficient. You'll blow through those like crazy. So like impact wrenches is what people actually use to drive in lags, but it's a good test video, but people don't really use impact drivers to drive in lags on a, uh, on a daily basis. If they do, they'll drive one, like one in, but impact like, like, but, but we'll see, we'll see how the, the new neuron stuff is. We'll say the fastest, most powerful, it doesn't mean it's always the best. Like, I'm not, like, the Milwaukee impact driver is a very powerful impact driver, but I just don't like using it. What's up, Jamal? Oh, uh, what's up, Uncle Fryer? Oh, dude, it's just, it's been, it's been bad past 10. It feels good to be alive. It feels really good to be alive. It's been bad for the past two and a half weeks. It's been, I missed work. I've been here. And so just uh, just trying to relax and get better. But I'm feeling better, so now it's time to get back into the regular routine, which I'm excited to get. <gasps> Bobby, it's okay. I know. I know. I'm excited to get back into the regular routine and uh, <gasps> get to filming again. <gasps> hey, excuse you. Stop it. You don't need to bark. Why? Why are you barking? Zero reason to bark. Zero. Fun stuff. Uh, we'll do like I, I've been resting, so I'm actually feeling really, really good now. My energy level is majorly up there. This is actually uh, my voice was normal, 
this morning, but talking so much actually is making my voice scratchy a little bit, but it doesn't hurt now. It doesn't hurt. But yeah, but I got the, the Neuron, not Neuron, I got the Hilti Link system right there. I'm actually going to implement my Milwaukee Pack Out uh, setup that I have right there behind me. Actually, the other way. I have right there behind me to be the reopening link. Because I'm actually switching to the reopening link system now. Why are you parking? Go on, Poppy. Go on. I know. Just lay down. I know. My tired old man. So, yeah, the, like the, the real building system is good. It's actually good. I like it. I like it a lot. Long to work must be good to be back in more. But, yeah. Uh, first time, it's morning. It's 9.43 in the morning, so. Belts and Boxes is uploading a video today, which I'm excited about. I got to catch up on everyone's videos. Today, I'll be uh, filming, editing, and uploading. And while I'm doing the editing and uploading, I'm going to be binge watching uh, tool channels. I miss watching tool test videos and just tool videos. Because my, my friend, actually, you know, my friend Matt, the one that I built the, uh, the river table with, he actually wants a track saw. So I'm actually going to be watching a lot of track saw videos to see which one is uh, more suitable for his needs, which he's thinking about getting. It's either the Milwaukee, DeWalt, or Makita. So he, he wants a, a good track saw. What's your next project? Oh, uh, my projects right now, because it's winter time, my projects are done. But next, uh, next summer, this coming summer, what I want to do is I want to rebuild my deck. I want to rebuild it, but uh, will I have to see if uh, if I have the funds for that to rebuild it? But if not, uh, I have uh, the rest of uh, the housework is pretty much I have to hire contractors for because of time. Because one thing I don't really have experience with is exterior. Like I need to hire people to for a new roof and new siding and. Uh, along with that new windows and that stuff you need done ASAP so I have to hire contractors for that stuff because I need that does stuff done in days and with the channel work with channel my regular job and doing what I normally do like I, I have to hire uh, people because I, I don't have time for that yeah but the interior work it's a lot now it's just a lot of miscellaneous stuff because like this house was terrible when we first moved in here uh, it was terrible. And I still, one thing I still want to do, I just made the house look the way it is just for, for now. I want to replace all the trim. I actually, in time, I want to take down all the walls. I want to put, like, because this is wood. Like, uh, this is wood, pa I have wood paneling all, all over the house. I want to replace it with drywall. But that's going to be in, uh, further down the road. But yeah, so it's it's been it's been rough. And remember, when I first started this channel and working on this house, I was working at work a hundred hours a week. And so it's uh and I did that for a long time. And so it's just nice for right now to not have to do anything. Excuse me. I've actually been I've actually been playing Halo since I was you know just relaxing. And recovering. How long will we live for? Uh, about 44 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Fun stuff. So, but yeah, but when it comes to uh, the Hilti Neuron stuff, there are, uh, I was told that I'll be getting them by the end of the month. And some tools by the end of the month. I can't wait to test the crap out of those. And just, uh, and yeah, and like I said, I am not worried at all if uh, Hilti Neuron Tool loses. I'm not worried. There are, there are zero consequences for me if uh, to do what I normally do. And th that's what I made sure of. But like I said, I denied Hilti sponsorship, uh, paying sponsorship. So they decided just to send me the tools I want and just do what I normally do. If a Hilti Tool loses, 
I'm not worried about it. Zero worries. Zero worries. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Oh, what other tools? Like I'm so behind. I still have I I didn't even get into the Makita 40 volt stuff. You know what? I, I, I'm so behind on tools. Oh, one thing I do want to look at is the new Ryobi 12 volt stuff. Like that box cutter is cool. I like that box cutter. Please don't tell me I. Ah, uh, wrong keyboard. I want that box cutter. Let's see where that's at. Oh, it's not even out here yet. Yeah, it's not even listed yet. But uh, other uh, YouTube channels already took care of that. Makita is also coming out with the Gen 2. That's crazy. Just created a platform and they're already coming out with another one so like the what you like so and th those Makita tools are expensive so if you're uh if you just bought into that line and they're making another generation of them then that is just people are gonna be mad at that because they just feel like they wasted their money on the first gen they're expensive like th those Makita tools are expensive four hundred dollars you know let's look that up You know, it's like, uh, darn it. Oh, please don't tell me I. Oh, please don't tell me I ended the stream. Wait, I gotta make sure I'm still live. Uh oh. Sorry, I'm just making sure I'm still live. I'm still live, right? Yes, I think I'm still live. All right, because I keep going to the wrong keyboard. Makita 40 volt. <laughs> 449. 400 yeah see see like like hilti isn't the only tool that's expensive like this is expensive as well four hundred dollars for a single tool kit six hundred dollars for this one you know like these tools are expensive as well these aren't cheap these aren't cheap at all see we'll see but then they, they'll have this like like this is what i'm this is what i think uh hilti needs to do you have four hundred dollars for this kit, right? All right, so then you have that's with uh, two point five amp hour battery, two point five amp hour battery. So the by like fifty dollars more, you can get the hammer drill included. You know, so to me, this kit is more worth it than this kit. Like that's what I'm saying. Hilti needs to do something like something like that. The 2.5 amp hour battery. That's how, that's ex, that's still expensive for a 2.5 amp hour battery. Let's see. Let's see what this kit includes. Two hundred dollars for a four amp hour battery. That's crazy. Details. See, so that's two. I can't see what that other one is. I think it's with two 2.5 amp hour batteries. Four speed, power max torque, power. No, 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 no. Yeah, but still, $400 for that kit. Like it's it's not just healthy that's expensive. It's like uh, these tools tools in general are getting really expensive. Fantastic. 
Excellent. So it feels good to go live, you guys. I'm sorry for the quality of this live stream. I'm just uh, just getting back in the swing of things. Let's see. Uh, wrong keyboard again. I one thing I want to get is that Dewalt. Uh, oh, what is it? I I I I, don't even, I forgot what it is. Power stack battery, I think it is. Yeah, because if you compare that battery, uh, a four amp hour Makita 40 volt battery to DeWalt's six amp hour battery, like there's a there's a big difference. Like tools are getting expensive, you guys. They they are. All the way around power stack. There we go. 180 for two of those. I got like there's so many videos on this. So that's why I haven't gotten these yet. Because there's so many videos on these and they're so over like it's just over uh covered. Majorly over covered. I still want to get these though. I want to get these, but I, I honestly, I want to wait till they have a bigger one. I want, I want a bigger battery. I don't think he actually has the impact. Let me check on the chat. Version of program adapter and double spring. Fun stuff, you guys. Fun stuff. Ugh. Like I said, uh, I actually, I want to try to go live every Friday morning. Because this is, because my wife's actually, uh, my wife works at home a couple of days out of the week. So Friday she's actually gone and I have the day off. So I want to make it a routine to go live Friday morning. Just explore tools. Just uh, see what's out there. Actually, one, one thing I want to do is I want to go to here, check out. See what is up. I got a tool. When it comes to tools with Souls live streams, I, I'm i not at work anymore to watch that. I'm spending time with my wife uh, Sunday night now, so I can't watch Tools with Souls. But I got to catch up on VCG. I have so much stuff to catch up with. So much stuff. I love Vince. I love Vince's videos. Very informative. Very informative. One thing I will say though is I miss seeing Nick. I miss seeing Nick on the on camera. The new DeWalt Atomic stuff. I did watch that one. Torque test channel. Dude, 89,000 subs, dude. Good job. Yeah, see, this Hilti tool is garbage. This Hilti tool is garbage. Sorry, there's not going to be any sound. Skip. They took my footage. Yeah, that this the, that impact driver. That, sorry, that impact wrench is garbage. Brushed, old brushed tool, and it's... Majorly oversized with not having the equivalent power compared to the size. It, it, it's it's garbage. That's garbage. But it's an old tool. They have new stuff out now, so I can't wait for Torque Test Channel to get those impact uh, impact wrenches and test them out. Project Farm. So much stuff I got to catch up on. See all these blue dots. Tools in action, which lives by me, by the way. Tools in Action lives uh, like about 30 minutes away from me. I got to collab with them sometime. Take them out of the boat. Shop Tool Reviews. Oh, I still want to watch his uh, Ryobi Link video. I got to watch that today. 60,000 subs. Good job, Shop Tool. Good job. Yeah, but Torque Test Channel is taking us by storm, dude. Torque Test Channel is doing good. I love his content. 
See, I, I, I got to watch his video of the, the link. I got to see what he says about it. Tool Review Zone, 200,000. Good job. Good job, Tool Review Zone. So, like, like these guys are getting big. They're like, like, I love that the tool community is growing. I seriously love it. I seriously, I do miss Nick on, uh, like, that's their own show. You know, like, of course, like, they could decide on who goes on camera. So, like, but I do miss Nick. 7.31 of work. I got, there's so many blue dots I got to catch up on. Scott Kilmer, I love his videos. All right, I'll, I'll show you guys who I watch, who I, I'm subscribed to. My fit, my uh, since I've been in COVID, my favorite uh, YouTube channel that I've been watching for the past couple of weeks is Game Theorist. I love this guy. This guy uh, is uh, majorly good with uh, the lore of video games, and like the the Five Nights at Freddy's lore is insane. On the, like how detailed he is, so like GT Live, Game Theorist, Film Theorist, and Food Theorist is my favorite. Uh, I've been watching like crazy because, like I said, if I watch tool videos, I'll have the impulse to go to the garage and not rest. So I've been watching uh, video game stuff for the past couple of weeks. But Food Theorist, you know, like it, like it. This stuff's crazy. It's like Santa made, uh, Santa made Sprite. You know, this is all good stuff. So if you guys want a good, good little watch, I checked, I checked these, uh, his, uh, his stuff out. You know, can carrots help you with your eyes? You know, like this is good stuff. Like McDonald's is not a restaurant, you know, which like the, so pretty much what he says in this video is McDonald's isn't actually a, a restaurant company. It's a real estate company. And so, like, like the, the he gets the facts, and it's actually true, though. It, it's crazy. Like, the, this stuff's crazy. So, if you guys want a good watch, uh, check them out. Uh, three, three point three one million subscribers. Cinemassacre. I love this guy, the video game nerd. Uh, he's getting older, of course. Like, he's not the same when he was when he first got into his channel. So he evolved. You know, he's a he's much older than. He was when he first started his channel like 15 years ago. Uh, Tools of Soul, proper people. I love the proper people. Like I've been watching these guys for the past like, I'd say nine years. And so they explore abandoned uh, like uh, factories, amusement parks, mansions, malls. The proper people is uh, good to watch. And so it, it's actually some uh, some good stuff. Watch Ninja, my favorite video game streamer. He's very entertaining and good at what he does. AVE, I gotta catch up on AVE. Let's see. Working class heroes. God, so much stuff I gotta catch up on. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Scott Kilmer, like my, this is my car guy that I just love. I love watching. The, I'm pretty sure you guys are su subscribed to this guy too. All right, thank you very much, uh, Greg, for stopping in. So yeah, well, like I said, uh, I have uh, a lot of stuff to do. A lot of today is going to be a, a busy day with the channel. Wrangler Star, I got a lot to catch up with him. He turned into a survival channel. Like he, uh, yeah, he still does tool stuff, but he's a survival channel now, which I think is awesome. You know, like four years ago, he used to do t test videos. Workshop addict. One hundred eighty-one thousand. Good job. Good job. Hmm. See, I see, like, one thing I want to just briefly talk about is, like, when it comes to, uh, like, he has 181,000 subscribers, right? You know, and, like, his views are, like, you know, 5,000, 4,000, 10,000, you know, like, they're really, 
Like, the YouTube's algorithm has completely changed on how it used to be. And, like, I, I just feel like a lot of these videos that everyone does aren't popping up on people's home, like, their home pages. And so, like, he, like for, uh, for 181,000 subscribers, he should be getting a lot more views. A lot more views, which he has very good content, too. So, like, that, that bums me out that he doesn't get as many views as he deserves. So, like, it's an it's a algorithm on how the algorithm works now. But fun stuff, you guys. Fun stuff. Are you still on your Milwaukee toilet? Uh, no, that is, uh, I, I did use that. I used that for like about five days. My, uh, you can now pack out with your crack out. That's my slogan for it. I actually should turn that into a shirt. Uh, but yeah, I use that. No, I, I have a toilet. I have the toilet. Uh, the bathroom's compl uh, finished. I just got to fix some stuff uh, around spring. And just miscellaneous stuff around the house, but I got my I got my toilet back. I only use the uh, the pack out with your crack out for about four or five days. Worth it, worth it, because I got to go to the bathroom in privacy in my garage, conveniently as well. So, but I do want to make that shirt pack out with your crack out. I do want to make that shirt. All right, you guys, but I am going to actually end the stream right now. I am going to uh, get uh, change, get in the garage and film. Like I said, I do want to uh, do live stream. I do want to do live streams. Now let that go back. There we go. I do want to do live streams uh, every Friday morning. Sometimes during Friday, and so uh, I, I, I'm going to stick with Friday morning for right now. That might change it. Well, I'm not gonna, It's Friday morning. People are at work. I'm not going to get a lot of viewers right now, but people can tune in after the fact. But yeah, it's going to be uh, It's going to be good. I, I want to get. I'm starting to feel better. Thank God. I thank everyone for your patience. And so yeah, but I'm going to uh, head out. I'm going to change. I'm going to get in the garage. And I'm going to start filming. Oh my God, puppy. Crazy. So. Yeah, I thank you guys for tuning in, and I seriously thank everyone for just uh, supporting the channel just by watching these videos and keeping me motivated to keep on going, you know, and it's, uh, I, I love doing this stuff, and it makes it even better to have people that go along with me on this. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Ah, deuces.